Hey guys, today I got another puppet combo game to check out, and let me tell you, this one is, well, hang on, here's the intro. Ashland High School, 3 p.m. Welcome to detention, girls. You will sit quietly for one hour and finish your homework. There will be no talking or fun or games. I hope you will think about what you've done and behave yourselves in the future. Alright, now it's 4 p.m. and the sun is setting. I love these pixel images, by the way. Glad that's over. Detention is such a drag. Hey, what are you guys doing? I've got to get home. It's almost dark. My mom will kill me if she finds out I got detention. You guys want to walk home together? Sure. Joseph? He's like, not even cute. Then who do you think is cute? It's so spooky around here. Let's hurry up, guys. I guess... Tyler. Ooh, Tyler? Hey, look up ahead. There's a strange van driving really slowly. So? So that's really creepy. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. It's coming right towards us. And that's the intro to Buzzsaw Bloodhouse. This game is infamous. Uh, we don't have a member login, but we can do the free tour. Now, I'm not going to read this stuff, but it basically just says, well, this is Puppet Combo's take on deep web chat rooms and snuff films and all kinds of uh, pervy, gory stuff like that. We play as a series of girls. Here we are. Girls who've been kidnapped held captive, and now they're forced to participate in this grisly game. And this all gets captured on film for uh, the twisted pleasure of uh, uh, sick, degenerate men who are uh, watching live camera feeds. It's like running a gauntlet, but we have to dodge buzz saws, uh, chainsaws, spikes, and uh, razor wire. You see, this is one of the contraptions. I'm going to try to run through it and... Yeah. We died. But we come back as the next girl. You can see at the top our new name. And all of our corpses stay put. Uh, the bodies are going to start piling up. <laughs> I mean, I told you it's pretty grisly. Now you may be wondering, but on the right hand side of the screen, I've had to blur the live chat. And it's not really live, obviously, it's just part of the game, but it's meant to simulate what might go on in a chat room like this. Uh, a chat room made for psychopaths. It's just full of dirty talk, and I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> okay, so we finally made it past that first part. Uh, the game saves automatically after each section. Oh, I should have mentioned this already, but... This game has had a few versions put out. I combined a couple of them. So that intro we saw is from uh, version 2, but this main torture dungeon part is taken from version 3. Earlier this year, an update was added that I have not played yet, but for the record, this part is version 3. Alright, here I opted for uh, switching video modes to make the graphics cleaner and crisper. I was hoping this would help me see uh, what I needed to do with each puzzle. <laughs> Get a load of this thing. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, you can clip through the walls a little too in this game. I'm not sure what causes that. Occasionally, 
we'll find these hearts on the map. They give us 10 more lives. I mean, you use up lives really quickly if you're not careful. Okay, on to the next part. It's identical to the last trap. <laughs> I swear I jumped there. I'm not sure why she walked into the wire. So, I'm playing this in first person. I don't know if it would be easier in third, uh, but I just decided to go with this. <laughs> you can see the mangled bodies of our uh, previous incarnations there. I'm trying to get the timing right. Alright, we found some more lives. We're definitely going to need them. Okay, 29 copies remaining. If you're keeping count, just so you know, I've edited out a lot of deaths because I want to keep the video moving along. Oh. Oof, I didn't realize. I fell back down that incline. Now there, I think I accidentally got my arm chopped off. You can keep going as long as you have legs, believe it or not. <laughs> oh. So much trial and error, you know? You have to be super patient to play this game all the way through. Ooh. Oh my god, it's like a meat grinder. Okay, this part. Uh, we're supposed to go this way, right? Uh, to the left? There's a heart on the other side, but I died a few times trying to get it, so I gave up. And you know, that might have been a terrible error on my part. We'll see. Oh my god, look at this. This is impossible, man. In hindsight, I probably could have done this in uh, third person, just moving side to side, but in first person, it's incredibly difficult. Yeah, finally I just got fed up and jumped over it. I think I lost my arm in the process. <laughs> oh, and check this out. This room took so many of my lives away. Trying to memorize which tiles fell and which ones stayed up. Ugh. I mean, look at all those corpses down there. That's all me. <laughs> There's like 15 girls down there. <laughs> it felt impossible. Oh man, you definitely have to have some patience here. Okay, did you see that? Words flashed across the screen. I had to pause the footage, but it says, What have you seen? What do you know? Pretty cryptic. Man, I stood here for a while, huh? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here we go. Yep. Oh my god, I was right there too. <sighs> so, how are you guys liking the game? <laughs> yeah, you gotta get this timing so perfect, it's crazy. Holy crap, we made it guys. Now remember, this is our final life. After this, we're donezo. So, we gotta be super careful now and pray that we come across more hearts. Yeah, so by a miracle, I got past that on the first try. We come upon this room 
with this sort of uh, blocky staircase. No real threats. It's more of a puzzle room. I was trying to study the pattern. Okay, so now we've made it to another blocky part. This is another part that might have worked better in third person, now that I think about it. Well, whatever. Uh, anyway, if we fall, there's razor wire below. Alright, I've stood here long enough. I, I was contemplating the path and series of jumps I should make. Time to go for it. Easy, easy. <laughs> and we died. That's it. I was done. This game is pure torture, man. <laughs> And I knew that going in, I, I had read about this game, and it seems like while it can be beaten if you're really patient and super lucky, and obviously have better skill, I don't believe it's been beaten by too many people. Some of his games are just really hard. But I'm glad I played it. I was always curious, and I mean, this is what Buzzsaw Bloodhouse is like. It's a notorious, well, basically it's a torture porn game. I've never played anything like it, and... <laughs> I'm not going to be in too big of a hurry to replay it anytime soon, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe out there. Don't get into any vans, <laughs> and I'll see you next time.